As we get ready to go, I'm interested to see what you think is going to be the most important thing for Ole Miss here today as they jump center. Madison Scott against Victoria Saxon, and we have seen this before with South Carolina. We saw that against LSU, scoring off the tip, and seconds in, it's 2-0 Carolina. I'm actually shocked that Ole Miss was not prepared for that because the one thing you want to do is start strong against the Gamecocks. Here is Angel Baker, defended by Zaya Cook. Works with the Scott screen. Marquisha Davis, bring it back out. Ole Miss starting five includes Rita Ibakwe getting her second start of the season and her first in SEC competition. Marquisha Davis averaging 14 points a game in the last seven all as a starter. Baker went for 21 against LSU. A turnover on the shot clock violation on the first possession for Ole Miss. South Carolina, their familiar starting five. Zaya Cook so efficient, 22 points in 20 minutes on Thursday. Aaliyah Boston played just 15 minutes in the win Thursday against Florida. And Eric, we're seeing an effort to try to slow South Carolina. South Carolina down, Ole Miss coming out in a zone to start this game. So what do you do against the zone? You try it from the outside, but that's off the mark and a rebound here for Baker, who wants to push off the miss. One and done, and Kiara Fletcher has it for South Carolina. Fletcher on the attack, a little too strong, and Ibakwe kept it alive. And here comes Davis, one-on-one -on -one against Boston. Beautiful move and finish by Marquisha Davis. And you see the game plan already for Ole Miss. They want to get out in transition, not have to go against the half-court defense of South Carolina and then slow South Carolina down. But the key to trying to stop South Carolina from Ole Miss's point of view is to pack it in. We've seen it before with the zone on defense. And it adds another bit of intrigue. You've got to find your matchup when that shot goes up because we know how good South Carolina is on the glass. Case in point. Where the easiest way to score against one of the top, oh, I'm sorry, the top defensive team in the country <laughs> is to not let it get set up. Great job of Davis going right at, in my opinion, the number one player in the country in Aaliyah Boston in scoring. The team, number one, as Christy mentioned, scoring defense and field goal percentage defense. Ibakwe was concerned with boxing out Boston, but no one went for the basketball. Maya Taylor works the point, guarded by Fletcher. Scott. And Eric, already one thing you're seeing is Ole Miss's inability with the screens to really generate offense because of the switching of South Carolina. Madison Scott second on the team in scoring at 12 points a game, leading the team in rebounding, third in the conference at eight and a half. Having another strong year for Ole Miss, nine and four in the SEC. South Carolina again trying from the outside. This time it goes down after missing their first two. Knocked down by Cook. Davis takes it at Sexton, can't get the reverse, and Boston pulls it down. Beal back to Fletcher. As a team, South Carolina 31% from outside the three-point line. Not great, but good enough. Seventh in the conference. They make, on average, four and a half a game. They get so much from the inside, and Madison Scott... Thought she had all ball, but a foul is called. She has been outstanding from the field the last three games. 20 of 34 from the field. That's good for 59%. Teams have been packing it in on the bigs because we know how dominant South Carolina's been in terms of paint points. And hats off to the veteran guards for South Carolina because they've responded. Fletcher back on Baker. Baker, nifty little turnaround. No, Fletcher has it knocked out of her hands by Baker. It'll be... South Carolina basketball. Ole Miss has struggled from the assist perspective. A lot of one-on-one -on -one ball instead of sharing and setting one another up for high percentage looks. Cook defended by Taylor. They look for Boston in the post. Back inside to Saxton. Well run by South Carolina. We talked about it in the LSU game the other night. When Ole Miss is good on offense, they're moving, they're cutting, playing off each other. Sometimes they just get stuck a little bit. Now, granted, LSU is one of the elite defensive teams in the country, and South Carolina, as you pointed out, Christy, is number one in scoring defense and field goal percentage defense, and Boston gets called for the foul. Real tough rebounding team. Four points, nine rebounds, had five blocks in that game, so she got the start here today for the first time in SEC play. Some of the best post in the country in the South Carolina team. 
Camila Cardoso will come into the game for Aaliyah Boston. There is not a drop-off as Dawn Staley goes to her bench. There's not a drop-off, and yet your starters get to rest at the same time. Fletcher with a strong drive for two. How good South Carolina's defense is? Make no bars about it. So is Ole Miss defensively. Angel, Angel Baker gets her first points, averaging 15 points a game. Good for 11th in the conference. Finds Cardoso. Didn't drop. Saxton had the rebound for the moment, but it's taken away by Ole Miss. And credit Ole Miss's defense. They are allowing the outside shot to the bigs of South Carolina, and they're taking it. I would rather those bigs make the extra pass and get down low. So five reserves on the floor right now for Ole Miss here in the first quarter. Saxton, Cook, and Beal, original starting five still out there for South Carolina. Collins, good little move to get free. Gets it to drop. Well, I asked on Staley this morning, who's the next person on the bench that you're looking from for, to get more from? And she said, Ashlyn Watkins. She said her practices have been amazing. It's just been a challenge to find time for her on the court because of how well Cardozo and the other bigs have been playing. Cardozo on the offensive glass for two. Case in point to Don Stanley <laughs> having issues of finding minutes for all her bigs. Dropped inside. A good job by Ole Miss. Tyus Singleton. Well, I think for South Carolina, they've got to make an adjustment here at the quarter break of not taking the shots Ole Miss wants them to take. Keep working the ball. Get that ball reversal and look to get some post touches in the paint. Watkins takes it into the paint. Has it blocked by Singleton. Mistake. Turnover. Johnson finishes with the left. Final seconds of the quarter. Maybe one final heave. Good if it goes. And that's going to do it for quarter number one. So Ole Miss hanging in there against South Carolina. Turnover costly. Will make you play for all 40 minutes. Absolutely. And it's not just play. You have to be locked in. And that's one thing Coach Joe said today. We just can't have that breaking moment. That's what South Carolina does to you. Cook sees Cardoso, which is not hard to do. It's 6-7. Taylor back into the game. Ibakwe as well. Scott, it's like the original starting five all out there right now for Ole Miss. Closest SEC game, seven points at Mississippi State. Every other result has been double figures in favor of South Carolina. It's how good, how balanced, how deep. I really think Davis has to be the X factor for Ole Miss if they're going to get this W here today. Cook knocks it down from 17. Zaya Cook scored the first eight for South Carolina in this game. She's already in the double figures now at 10. I mean, here's the high on ball screen for Baker, and you just see the switch. Cardoza so comfortable there because of her length of keeping a guard in front of her. Switches out, gets the block. Raven Johnson picks up the loose ball. Johnson flips it up to who else but Cardoso, but wave it off. Offensive foul, Johnson. Taylor rejected. The freshman Watkins there with the swat. Ashlyn Watkins there just doesn't give up on the play. Christy already three blocks for South Carolina. They lead the nation 9.4 a game. Last year they led the nation at 7.4 a game. So well beyond what they did last year. Scott with two on the shot clock. Scott. I feel like that's almost every game for Madison Scott. She just takes what the defense gives her, and I think it's a little bit probably too unselfish. How many shots do you think Madison Scott should take a game or needs to take a game? She has to be up in double figures, you would think, right? Absolutely. I'm thinking like anywhere from like 12 to 14. Even higher, yeah, be well beyond 10. But there's still more that she can offer. I mean, think about it. I'm going to say at least half her shots right now in the season are coming on offensive rebounds. She's quick. She's agile. That jumper has improved so much this past season. Baker. Did a great job against Cook. Leads in. Count it and the foul. Look at the touch. No, she has to be explosive to get by Cook. Then gathers herself to take it up strong. 
In the last home game for Ole Miss against Kentucky, Angel joined the 2,000-point club. Scored a lot at right State. Eric, I don't care where you scored some points. 2,000 is a lot. <laughs> Tipped out of bounds. She'll set the intensity level two for this team. She is always locked in. You talk about being locked in for 40 minutes against South Carolina. She'll be locked in. She knows how important this game is. Boston back into the game. Leans in, and a foul is called on and Singleton's back in the game, and Boston to the free throw line for two. Of course, the Florida game was the first game after that intense LSU game in front of 18,000 fans at Colonial Life Arena, 1.5 million watching on ESPN. Baker. No, oh, she's got to get rid of it quickly against a shot-blocking team like South Carolina. Old Miss is tied in at 21. Boston, the entry, the finish, her first field goal. Scott defended by Boston. Back out to Davis. Won't drop, and Cardozo's got the rebound. Cook. All the way, and a trip to the free throw line coming for Zaya Cook. And I said, Don, you're shooting 47%. <laughs> she wants it all. <laughs> she wants it all. Yes, but she clarified. She said, I feel like at times we just need to start quicker, and that means point touch. I mean, paint touches. That means our posts get those touches down low. Oh, Collins, good three-point shooter. She'll bank it in. And Ole Miss gets the three to drop. They're within one. We well, you know the bank three is always high percentage. They had to mix things up. The other, <laughs> the other threes weren't going. Cook on the cuts. Beautiful finish on the feed by Saxton. Final two minutes of the first half. Scott. Back to Taylor. Shot clock at five. Taylor tries to find Singleton inside. Muscles it in for two. As the shot clock expired. <laughs> Cook made the adjustment, couldn't get it, but Cardoso cleans it up. Singleton grabbing at her side here a little bit. Timeout's being called here by Ole Miss. Tyus Singleton, I think, may have got caught up setting a screen. And so she's going to come out of the game. But good point, Christy. Great observation. Just watching some players sucking wind a little bit. Davis, another jump shooter fouled by South Carolina as Raven Johnson gets called for the foul. So much to be decided. The day will wrap up with Mississippi State in Baton Rouge to take on LSU. I'll be at 6 Eastern and 5 Central SEC Network and on the ESPN app. Aquisha Davis comes through at the free throw line, and it's a one-point game. And we're seeing the 1-2-2 one, two, two by Ole Miss. Looking to be containment, trying to take some time off the clock for South Carolina. Three-pointer from Cook is going to be short. Rebound pulled down by Davis. Ole Miss, no need to run here. Shot clock is off. And the Rebels will hold for one, and they can take a lead into the locker room at halftime. Beal will make Baker work for it. Scott tries to get Baker some room. Beal against Baker. The turnaround, no. Rebound, Raven Johnson with the heave. And it'll be a South Carolina lead by just one at halftime, Christy. Great defense by both squads. I'm eager to see the second half adjustments by both these head coaches. Davis can't get it. Madison Scott on the offensive glass, and Beal grabs it for South Carolina. Eric, one thing Don Staley said to me is we need to start stronger at the beginning of each half. Coach Yo hitting the coffee at halftime. <laughs> she doesn't strike me as someone who needs a little jolt, but you know what? Maybe that's how she keeps it 
at a level of 11 when the scale is 1 for 10. We know your secret now, yo. Maybe it's chamomile tea, just to make sure she's... Keep that voice? Yeah, that Does too. she use her voice during the game? I haven't noticed. <laughs> <laughs> Good job by Baker to hold on to it. South Carolina certainly has made Angel Baker work really hard so far through the first 20 minutes. Taylor will try it from outside and get it. Ryan Taylor's first points. On South Carolina, especially with Abakwe already having that third foul, I would look to go high-low, look to get the ball inside and attack the big for Ole Miss. Boston gets called for the travel. Well, that's what Coach O said. She goes, we've got to take care of the ball, we've got to score, and we've got to make things hard for South Carolina. And so far, that's they, that's what I mean. This team has executed the game plan. 19 total starts in the season. Had 11 points, 5 rebounds against LSU. Took a lot of shots in that game. Was 5 of 16. You know, sometimes coaches switch up starting lineups. You're just not sure how over over the big picture to work. Well, great move by Coach Joe because my Christian Davis has been just falling out in these last seven starts. Boston for two. Fletcher extending the defense out on Taylor. Taylor, round and round she goes. Saxton is tied up. Possession arrow will give it back to Ole Miss and this big crowd getting a little bit louder in Oxford. Nine turnovers now for South Carolina. And Madison Scott is going to get called for the foul. We have seen throughout the season that Dawn Staley has used her bench. Her bench is averaging almost 40 points a game. Ole Miss staying committed to getting to the bench here in the third quarter because they know this is going to be hotly contested, tightly fought right down to the wire. At least they hope so. Zaya Cook gets her first points of the second half. It's a three-point lead for South Carolina. Well, it's not just the points that South Carolina's bench gives you. It is the minutes. It is keeping those starters fresh, and it is that cumulative wear and tear effect. So I love the fact that Coach Joe's been going to the bench. Baker with a step back three. Beal, strong take, muscles it up for two. First points for Bree Beal. Cardoso tripped. Singleton takes advantage. Entry pass knocked away by Singleton. Plenty of time here. For South Carolina, Beal again with the take, and a foul is called on Eaton. For the last drive by Beal, you had two posts who took the two bigger players by Ole Miss, one-on-one -on -one there, and that's what allowed that opening for Beal to turn the corner and get to the rim and draw the foul. Foul on Eaton, her first person, only Bakwe, the only player for either team with more than two, and here is Bree Beal at the free throw line. 14 points, season high against Florida last game, 11 points against LSU in the game prior. The defense is for these two teams. Well, I gotta believe Ole Miss got a set called by Coach O during that break. Can they execute it? Force in, ball on the floor, tie up, possession arrow will give it to South Carolina. Every single thing is being debated here in this game. <laughs> Every second on the shot clock, possession, you name it, it's being fought over. Cardoso, tough pass for her to handle off her hands. Turnover South Carolina. They've struggled taking care of the basketball. Baker gives it right back. Johnson, a half step on the field. Eric, that was such a difficult catch. Scott over Boston. South Carolina with Cook. And 
Cook was fouled. She'll go to the line to shoot two. Hang tight with them as this second half progresses will be the question. One, they've been using their bench. Two, Eric, their defense has been really good, and they've done a good job of keeping South Carolina off the offensive glass. Taylor defended by the freshman. Taylor goes up with the left hand. Beautiful job by the veteran Maya Taylor. Any credit in the stat sheet for that miss, but her presence is why Davis took that really difficult shot. How about that job by Taylor to get the strip and then the feed to Collins? Great defense by Taylor. Johnson wanted to return it to Beal, but turned it over. 12 turnovers now for South Carolina. Baker will slow things down in the final seconds of quarter three. Shot clock now down to eight. And she'll go to work. Shot clock at five. Singleton has to try. Won't drop. Free ball tipped into the hands of Raven Johnson, who heaves it at the buzzer. Caught the iron, and, and that will do it for the third quarter. They have been able to get good shots. They just haven't consistently knocked down those open looks. But I can't say enough about how good Angel Baker's been off the bounce, and Maya Taylor was spectacular in that third quarter. South Carolina is plus nine in rebounding margin, but second chance points. Ole Miss is plus three in that category. That's usually a spot where Ole Miss... You would think they'd be well behind. Aaliyah Boston out of the quarter break for two more. She's got nine. And Eric, this is subtle, but I love Raven Johnson's game. We talk a lot about how quick and how good she is at the point guard, but her defense has been really good today as well. Bree Beal gets called for the foul. Another South Carolina foul, fouling a jump shooter. She has upped her numbers this year, and she's upped her leadership. She was named a captain the first week of January. Coach O said she was disappointed if she wasn't named in the preseason, but she stuck with it. Surveying, but then losing it. Out of bounds. Turnover, South Carolina. Taylor. Little hesitation, but couldn't get the left-hand shot to drop after getting around Cardoso. Johnson to Beal. Beal and one. So Bree Beal will try to finish off the three-point play. Back out. Plenty of time on the shot clock, and Baker will hit the reset button. Well off the mark, usually her spot. South Carolina gets a stop on defense, and here they come the other way. Back in the hands of Johnson. Christy talked about how Raven Johnson's game continues to improve after her season ended in just game two of last year. There she is, crunch time for South Carolina, playing the big minutes. Boston, huge advantage against Baker right here, and Baker gives the foul. But this is the piece right now, no mental mistakes. You've got to stay engaged on both ends. Six rebounds, two assists. Collins. Davis. Tries to get downhill and gets the ball up. Beautiful shot by Marquisha Davis. She's got nine. Cardoso inside out. Raven Johnson for three. Collins with four on the shot clock. Collins leans in and beats the buzzer. They will review it, but they'll play on until the next dead ball. Raven Johnson too strong. Madison Scott tried to keep it alive. It's tipped out of bounds, and it will be Ole Miss basketball. It is draped over Angel Baker. So Marquisha Davis will bring it up against Beal. Five minutes to go here in Oxford. Singleton. Collins. Collins, tough shot. Collins makes tough shots, apparently. Two-point game. 
We saw her beat the shot clock, and we just saw a tough leaner there to put her in the double figures. And again, the crowd gets loud. Timeout in a two point game. Got a call is coming up big for the Rebels. Baker has that left thumb taped up. She's on the floor. Collins, Ibakwe, Davis, and Singleton rounds out the five for Ole Miss. An SEC record crowd for a game here in Oxford on hand. Over 6,500. Davis on the turnaround. Doesn't get the roll. Ibakwe on the glass is fouled. Coach Joe told me today, the reason Rita Ibakwe is playing so well, she loves going against bigger bigs, and this young lady has shown up in a big way here this afternoon for the Rebels. Empty trip. Approaching four minutes to go in the fourth. Johnson, the entry to Cardoso. Back outside, Beal, wide open three. Long rebound for Raven Johnson and a reset here for Carolina. Inside of four to play. Smart play by the freshman. Pull it out, get the offense set. They are looking for Cardoso. Beal, tough shot for two. Bree Beal. Baker, fouled by Beal. It's just like I said a moment ago, that there had been a switch during that last time out by South Carolina. The bench just instructed them to switch back, so I expect to see Cook now on Baker. Her season average 15, went for 21 against LSU. The number five team in the country, now taking on the number one team in South Carolina. Three-point game, three minutes to go. Cardoso for Beal. Leah Boston's working really hard down low, trying to get the seal. They just missed her. Cardoso's denied. Here's Baker taking it at Johnson. Dawn Staley wants a timeout. I think they were trying to isolate Boston there down low. Great job by Ole Miss to stay low. Cook for three off the mark. Battle for the loose ball. Still being fought for. Baker got it before getting tied up. Davis at Cardoso. No. Now there's a tie-up. He'll stay with Ole Miss. One twenty-eight to go. Baker steps back, rattles it home. Ole Miss has their first lead since the first quarter when it was four-two. Boston blocked by Ibakwe. Ibakwe again, and then a foul will send Aliyah Boston to the free throw line. Final minutes. Baker defended by Cook. Eight to shoot. Baker tries it again. Not this time. Boston goes down. And a foul is called on Ole Miss and Aaliyah Boston.
into Davis. Defended by Johnson. Fifteen seconds. Tie game. Number one, South Carolina. Will they stay undefeated? Will Ole Miss pull the upset? Davis spinning, falling down, losing the handle. South Carolina ball. John State was trying to get some height on the inbounder here. Now Raven Johnson has a free look to get this pass wherever she needs to deliver it. They do go over the top. It's batted down. Boston at the buzzer off the rim, and we're going to overtime in Oxford. South Carolina team averaging almost 83 points a game with 55 on the board as we head to OT. Where just a subtle adjustment there by Ole Miss. They conceded the tip because they weren't going to allow another layup like we saw the game start on by Zaya Cook. Cook hangs in the air for two. Zaya Cook now with 21, sixth time this year. She's gone for 20 or more, 20th time in her career. Baker and Boston now one on one. Baker wants to try it, thinks better of it, finds Madison Scott. Cardoso with the rebound. Entry Cardoso over the top for two. And that's the high low action. Taylor trying to work on Johnson. Taylor gets an open look. Taylor, Taylor was scoreless in the first half. Eight points since then. Two point game. Beal looks inside this time. Boston. Exact same play. They're flashing someone to the high post. Both bigs are going low. Baker works with the Ibakwe screen. Waiting there was Cardoso, and South Carolina gets a stop on defense. Here's Cook. Cook hangs in the air. Off the window for two. Here we go in a six-point game. Davis. Collins. Collins. Deep two, no. Baker is the one who comes away with the rebound. Baker can't get the three. Ibakwe on the glass. Davis tiptoeing. Ole Miss getting a couple of opportunities here, but South Carolina has kept them from scoring. Baker heaves another one, no. Another rebound for Ole Miss, but they're the ones who touched it last. Outscoring Ole Miss 8-2 in the extra session. And so you see Ole Miss now going to the man to man trying to force this turnover. And on the season, 78%. Fifth in the SEC. That's a big one there. Largest lead of the game for South Carolina on top by seven. Nice switch out by Cardozo. Collins step back three as well. Short. Cook lets it go out of bounds. And time is running out. For Ole Miss. Ole Miss will not foul. They have a lot to be proud of here today. They took the number one team in the country to overtime in front of a crowd, a record crowd of 65-63. But in the end, number one stays undefeated. South Carolina, 64-57 the final.